Welcome to the All-Star Report, where first grade is digging up... Oh, hi, how's it going? What am I doing? I'm actually checking out my own history. History is actually the story of me or the story of us. Throughout the years, there have been many people who have lived and died. A lot of great things have happened before our time. History is one of the greatest things that we have as a people, and we can share our history in many different ways. One example is just writing a journal like the one I'm reading today. I'm talking about going on a vacation with my parents about 10 years ago. It's pretty fun to read this. Other types of ways that we can share our history include movies. Sometimes it's as simple as just an old birthday card. I've also got newspapers. And I'll even show you. Here's a picture of Mr. Baker when he was in first grade. History is so important because we can't really move on in our lives without remembering and learning from our past. There are many different ways that we can share history. And today on the All-Star Report, your All-Stars are going to find out some of the many ways that they can share their very own history. Remember, you girls are working together okay, as the diggers. You're trying to find the pieces We need to find the domino. Now, one of the first things that the All-Stars did is that they learned how to become archaeologists. An archaeologist is a special kind of historian and scientist that digs up their history. They look for old things like fossils, dinosaur bones, artifacts, lots of really cool stuff. What are you going to be doing, Claire? I'm going to be drawing what I think it is. Ah. Okay. So, we're going to find pieces. Annie, what's your job? My job is to do this. Ah, so which is the? Cleaner. What's the, it called? Pu the puzzle. The puzzler. Good. How many pieces should you have? You have all six pieces? Now there's a very famous fictional archaeologist. He has a brown hat, carries a whip, and has been in many different movies, lots of adventures. Any idea who I'm talking about? That's right, Indiana Jones, one of the most famous fictional archaeologists in all of the movies. Well, anyway, let's see how the All-Stars do as they become archaeologists and dig up history. Yes. Okay. So, Allison and Bianca here were our diggers for our artifact dig. Girls, what did it look like you guys pulled out? What did it look like you guys dug up? What do you think it was? Like a wrestler? Why did you think it was even a person at all? Like, what did it have? Um, pieces of a body. Pieces of a body? Okay. A head. Like a head. That's a very important thing. Now, Shadavius, you're doing a great job cleaning off our artifacts. What do you think that you've dug up so far? Just some dirt. A lot of dirt, yeah? But do you think that our artifacts like an animal, or do you agree with the girls that it might be a person, like a wrestler? Okay. You think it's like a wrestler? All right. Keep up the good work. Now, girls, Katie and Vicky, what what do you think it is? Now that you're putting it together as the Maybe puzzler. Maybe it'll be a wrestler. Maybe it'll be a wrestler? Yeah. All right. You don't think it's like a tiger or anything like that? <laughs> no. no. What are you making? What do you think it is? It's a wrestler. A wrestler. Now, how do you know that? How do you know it's a wrestler? Uh, that's supposed to be. Okay. So that way I know everybody's done. We can get ready for the next time we do it. So what are you doing, Annie? I'm putting it together. Ah. And what are you, are you helping her, Cyan? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. she is. Yeah, I'm just trying to do that. Yeah, because your job comes after hers. What's your job? Awesome. All right. Well, now, oh, yeah. what are you going to do? Go ahead and be the reporter. You're going to? Draw. Draw what? 
Or, it's a puzzle. Ah, with puzzler finds. That, that's what you're going to be re reporting on. How many pieces are you guys looking you for? The oh, we have a domino for my, hey. for my other one. I'll put it back over there. Here, guys. I think we got all. I'm waiting for them. Nice job, Vicky. What's your job, Nora? Uh, it's what? Builder. Builder. Okay. What are you going to be doing? I am the. Recorder. Just so you know, here's one of your guys. Oh, you found the domino, Sam. So how many pieces do you need? What are you doing over here, Cyan? Digging. How many pieces are you looking for? Six. Six? How many have you found? So for, how would you compare what this guy looks like to the guy you got last time? Do you need help? So have you found all your pieces? The word history is a very interesting word. It's actually spelled H-I-S-T-O-R-Y. That's right. The letter Y that normally makes the Y sound actually at the end of any word with two syllables or more will actually make the E sound. Now, there are many other words that have two or more syllables with a Y at the end that sounds like an E. Now, some of great examples include funny, bunny, happy, and story. Can you think of any other words that follow that rule? If you can think of any, send me an email and let me know, and maybe you'll get picked for our, this month's contest. Good luck. All right, let's get back to learning about history. Next up, the All-Stars shared their own history by actually writing their very own books. These books are found in the All-Star Books section on the website. Check them out. You'll love them as they share what they do during their school week. Well, I won't tell you any more about it. I'll let the All-Stars tell you a little bit about the steps that they took to write their very own books and become first grade All-Star authors. Before we write, we need to think about some ideas. What should we write about? Church. School. Church. <laughs> Then we type our stories. Oh. Our book needs our voices when we narrate the words. Alright, Sam. So on the count of three, go ahead and read your book out loud, okay? One, two, three. On Monday, my class goes to library. And save. Very good job, Sam. Thank you. A beautiful book cover is very important to me. We.